Hi everyone, it's Alena from JetBrains. In this video, I will give you 5 tips to help you get started with interactive reports in data lore. Tip number 1. Hide intermediate steps. In data lore, you can hide specific cell inputs and outputs to make your reports look cleaner. You can do this by clicking the I button in the cell toolbar, or you can hide all inputs or outputs from the View menu tab. If you want to hide specific worksheets, you can do so by clicking on the worksheet label and choosing to hide cell inputs and outputs for it. After publishing your report, the hidden cells won't be visible to the report viewers. Tip number two, add interactive controls. To make your report interactive for viewers, you can add drop-down, slider, and text input cells directly from the data lore editor UI. Here, for example, we added a drop-down and populated it with a list variable. If you are familiar with IPy widgets, you can also add them to your notebooks and reports. When hiding cell inputs and outputs, please note that IPy widgets are displayed in cell outputs, whereas the data lore interactive controls are displayed in cell inputs. Tip number three. Test your notebook before publishing. If your notebook is not reproducible, the report will fail with an error. To avoid this, you can simply run the cells and check that everything works, or use DataLore's reactive mode to keep the notebook state consistent automatically. Learn more about reactive mode in our blog. You can find the link to the blog post in this video description. Tip number four, share reports with viewers. After publishing a report, it becomes automatically accessible by link. You can just copy the browser link and send it to viewers. Viewers won't need a data lore account and will be able to open and run reports in their browser. When viewers click the Recalculate Report button, a new computation is launched in the backend. This will consume the report owner's computational resources and count as a parallel computation. Data lore professional and enterprise users have an unlimited number of parallel computations and can have their reports run by an unlimited number of users simultaneously. Data lore community users get demo access to the interactive report feature and can have one interactive report and only up to two report viewers who could run the report simultaneously. You can read more about parallel computations with the community plan in our documentation. Tip number five, describe your report with markdown and create headings. To create a structured report, use markdown headings by adding a markdown cell and specifying the heading level with the hash sign. You can check the notebook structure inside the table of contents in DataLore's notebook prior to publishing. We hope these tips were helpful. If you have any questions, please reach us out at datalore.support.jitbrains.com and make sure to follow us on Twitter for more quick tips.